Hi, are you as inspired as I am after watching all the videos by Anna Denise this week? Anna Denise Floor has a fantastic approach towards art journaling. I think it's amazing how she journals about her life and does a lot of storytelling in each individual um, drawing and in each individual page. And how she also uh, can create those pages as one, even if they are, you know, drawn in different days or different moods. Just by a little bit of color and, a, and a, by careful design, her layout just makes it all one, which is fantastic. I think it's really, I learned a lot this week. So, her homework. I love it because she asks us to draw five things about ourselves and I can't wait to see what other people will be posting in the classroom because this way we get to learn each other a little bit better. You know, five things about yourself, what will you tell? And it really makes you think as well. I mean, I am really thinking about five facts or things about me, what do I want to tell, how can I make it a little bit of a story, how can I make it interesting. So I wrote down five things about me that I want to draw. Some of them people may or may not know about me. Hopefully um, I can make it into a fun layout, a fun design and a fun page. So I'm doing this with the storyboard layout. I really like that layout because you can tell a lot of things in just one page using frames. I do like the way that Anna Denise uses different shapes of frames. I always think about, you know, squares and rectangles, but you can actually also use circles, bubbles, that's how Anna Denise calls them. And that's not really easy to draw round circles, <laughs> so that's the first challenge. I'll make different sizes, I like it that you can also just make them run off the page, and in the different sizes I will draw my drawings. So the first drawing is something about me that is kind of obvious, I always carry my sketchbook with me in my bag. So I draw my bag with sketchbook in it. And then to make sure you can tell that it's a sketchbook, I will also add a pouch with some pens sticking out. Hopefully that works. And then I will draw myself snacking because I am a snack enthusiast for sure. Um, especially nuts. I go nuts for nuts. Something people are sometimes a little bit surprised about is that I am an introvert. I always need to think a long time before I say something. And also, I love being around people, but I don't really need to be in the middle of the attention. I actually am very happy when I just sit and draw. I can do that on my own, very happy, or I could do it with all those people around me listening to the conversations and sometimes chiming in. So another thing about me is that I have been making Draw Tip Tuesday videos since 2013. I do them weekly. That's kind of crazy. So I want to just add that. And then a fifth thing about me, I love the sound of swallows. It reminds me somehow of, I think, my childhood, of summer, of long days without any worries and, well, Anyway, I love that sound. It's the best sound in the world. And actually, now that I'm drawing these birds, they are quite hard to draw. Even though they are so recognizable, I find it really hard to draw them. I'm not really good at drawing birds anyway, so this is a good exercise. Right, so now that I have everything in with pencil, I'm going to dive in with brush pen. I like the line of a brush pen. It's a, a little bit unpredictable and you can have thicker and thinner lines. You can um, really use that brush to get a little bit expressive in your line. I love that. So I will just ink all the drawings right now. Now I have to make sure that all the ink has dried before I erase all my pencil lines. I will leave in a light pencil line for the circles because I need to fill those in with paint and I need them as guidelines. 
a little of an extra challenge here um, by Anna Denise is to use a limited palette. I will be using just one color. I am choosing yellow ochre just because it's one of my favorite colors. I love how it can be super sunny. It can be very yellow, but also kind of brownish. I love the mustardy kind of color that it has. So I will use it, start with a light wash and then add darker bits and the darkest bits will hopefully emphasize on certain parts that I find uh, important in my drawings. So now that I've done all that, I think it looks pretty okay. I will add some writing and now I actually realize that I didn't leave that much room for writing. When I was doing this on, in pencil, I thought I was leaving a lot of white space, but not that much. But I don't really need a lot of writing anyway. So I will write the things about me around the bubbles or next to them. I'll have to just sort of wing it, see where I put what. And yes, of course, I make a little mistake. A typo, so to say. Oh well. I am adding some more swallows because that white space bothers me. It takes things out of balance. And the white space is there because of bad planning. I could have done the writing in pencil first, so I knew how much space I was actually going to need, but I didn't. So then you end up with a little bit of an unbalanced page, but that's fine because I just solve it with some extra drawings. And I think I'm done. Five random facts about me.